In this video, we'll be talking about how we can balance a redox equation in what we call a neutral environment. This video is required for both the Regents and the Honors Chemistry course. So in our initial reaction, we have copper ions plus iron, which is solid, and it yields iron ions in an aqueous solution and copper metal, which is neutral. So the very first thing we have to do is separate the half reactions. So you're noticing our oxidation reaction, we're going from neutral iron and it's breaking down into iron ions and we see three electrons are being lost. In the reduction, we have a copper ion and it's gaining an electron and we're seeing that it's turning itself into a neutral copper atom. The second part is we have to now balance out the equation. We have to now use the least common multiple. So when we look at our problem, which you had just written down, you should have now three copper ions and three electrons, and they make three moles of neutral copper. The third step is to add the equations and remove the electrons from the final equation. What I like to do when I do this is I always write them out in a strategic kind of way that the yield arrows always line up on top of each other. I then draw a line and everything to the left I write down as my reactant and everything to the right I write down as my products. You also have to remove all the electrons, so cross them out. Make sure that you have a three on the left hand side and a three on the right hand side. Or in any other reaction that you do, make sure you have equal amounts on opposite sides of the red line. Finally, rewrite your equation. You should notice you should have three moles of copper ions and one mole of iron, and they will yield three moles of copper, which is neutral, and one mole of iron ions.